What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie, this is Hero War Central, and in this video clip discussion, what have you, I wanna know, does Anvari counter Kark on Hero Wars Facebook and web, or is he more of a faceless counter? Right? Just so that we're very clear on what we're dealing with here. We have this ability right here. Uh, Living Earth. Passive skill while Anvari is alive. He protects himself and the nearest ally from displacement and knock effects. Prioritizing the ally in front of him. So, a big issue that Kark has is not being able to knock an enemy up. But, since Anvari usually only protects himself and the ally in front of him, which is the tank. That usually exposes everybody behind Anvari to Kark's knockup effects. So, in a lot of ways, Anvari is not a Kark counter. He's actually a faceless counter. Now, a lot of Kark teams will use Faceless for this power throw. Raises the nearest enemy above the ground, then drops him at the center of the enemy team, dealing damage and stunning them. So this is uh, this is accomplishing three things when you pair Faceless with Kark. First of all, pushing the tank back exposes the second hero in line, which obviously isn't as defensive as the enemy tank. The second thing is, is he's knocking an enemy up in the air while he's doing that, which triggers Kark's uh, knock up in the air damage effect and third it's an area of effect stun for two seconds for the entire enemy lineup i often put mara on my faceless to extend that to a three to five second stun so in the clip that i'm about to show you i was doing some guild training against an Anvari team with my kark team i took it as kind of a personal challenge just to see if there was a workaround with it and the enemy front line was very strong against physical attackers my kark lineup for sure but subbing in a different hero instead of faceless and it's not kai it's not who you think uh, allowed me to defeat these lineups pretty handily uh, because you know again anvari doesn't necessarily protect your team against kark he protects himself in the tank versus kark and then you just you know kind of clean them up and finish the uh, finish the fight if you wait till the end of the video which i hope that a lot of you do then i'm gonna do a giveaway we're gonna give away one of the legendary youtuber gift packages you get either three portal charges or 30 artifact chest keys i will see you at the end of the video for that drawing only it's only game why you have to be mad Okay, so the thing about countering Anvari on Facebook is that he's actually not, he's actually not a Kark counter, he's a faceless counter, all right? He's actually not a Kark counter, he's a faceless counter. So I am concerned about the ginger being a little on the weak side. That's okay, Carlos, I appreciate your effort none the, nonetheless. So we're gonna try this lineup right here because my Kark should be able to kill several of the back line and then we finish off the front line. But see that Ching Mao being so far forward, because he can't I can't use faceless to push Galahad back. Well we'll speed up so Kark can punch that Anvari in the face. There you go. Now everybody runs forward. I mean, would a stronger ginger have helped that? See. It's, it's a delicate balance because what I'm dealing with here, what I'm dealing with here is the fact that, okay, uh, the fact that I, uh, I, I want to pull my weight, but I also, I also don't want to whiff. You know what I mean? I don't want to whiff. So would a stronger ginger cause me to lose this fight? My Kai isn't that good. If my Kai were stronger, I probably would consider using him instead of Nebula Iris, maybe do Kai Jorgen. But my Kai is pretty weak compared to how strong my Iris is, even at a lower power level. See, I might've just died right there. Like right there when the Ginger ulted, I might've died right there if the Ginger was stronger, but I don't know. Let's try this fight one more time. And then I wanna try another variant of the, of the, uh, of the lineup here. Let's try this line one more time. Toon says, probably not. Ginger has low health. If she dies as fast as she did on a previous battle, you should be fine. See, I almost died right there. I'm still very low. Yeah, see, this is a little iffy. still won. 
All right, let's try a different lineup here. Instead of instead of Nebula um, Nebula Iris, we're gonna do Kai Jorgen. Kai is gonna be the superior Kark helper to Faceless in this lineup, but my Kai is pretty weak. Um, hmm. Miss, 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 miss. And see, now I would rather have Iris. At this point right here, I would rather just have Iris. I think that's the play. I still won. All right, Drist. Okay. So if I think if I think that that ginger is gonna pop me, should I use Oliver on Al uh, Oliver on uh, on Iris instead of Albus on Iris? And keep her alive a little bit longer. Like I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be okay. Ching Mao is the only scary part in this fight. Armor penetration with ginger. Okay, we're doing this. It's fine. It's fine. This is the route. It's a trade-off because you can use Oliver on Iris to keep her alive a little bit longer, but she doesn't ult as fast and she doesn't, uh, it takes a little bit longer to clear out. Wow, I'm getting beat up here. She's not doing nearly it. Okay, so that, that ginger isn't doing hardly any damage to my iris. Okay, that was uh that was a little questionable. Dodge this. Dodge this, Ching Mao. You can't. I sucked your soul out your chest. Ching Mao. Oh, why did I? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. I went to use my uh, my Kark ult, and then as soon as I used the ball bounced over. Over. Okay. So that got really close. That got a lot closer than I wanted to. These are the pets that I would have chosen. Semi Alkadi. I'm gonna call you Sam because I I don't think I pronounced your name correctly. Sam absolutely is correct. The Ching Mao was definitely the most scary part of this fight that ginger did almost no damage to me oh she did a million damage that ginger did very poor damage to me very poor damage okay so the stronger ginger didn't matter again guys anvari is not a kark counter on facebook and web absolutely not he's a faceless counter on some level of lara's counter some level of maya counter man i do i really do love how much I, how much damage iris does just without even using her ult this stun was a problem I got, my front line got stunned for a long time. That was able to kill my Astaroth. I think my Astaroth revived himself. I didn't quite see it there, but I think my Astaroth self revived there. Yeah, see that ginger's doing nothing. That ginger with double armor penetration. Do you guys see that? A physical attack buff and double armor penetration and that ginger did nothing. Nothing but charged my lineup. Started missing a bunch right here because the uh, Ching Mao blind was on my Kark. But my Iris split the soul off, and then it was just a matter of time. The soul can't dodge. The soul can't block damage and uh, mitigate damage in any way. And as soon as I ulted, the ball went back over to Iris. Why is Faceless counter to Anvari? No, no, no. Anvari is a counter to Faceless, Ivan. Anvari is a counter to Faceless, not a counter to Kark. On Facebook and web specifically. Guys, I, I cannot stress to you enough how much I am absolutely loving this team right here i am absolutely in love with this lineup and i cannot wait to continue to build it i cannot wait to get nebula to the point that she's double boosting equilibrium when i ascend her i can't i cannot wait to get my martha stronger so that she can survive against more and nebula i'm not nebula jorgen lineups i think finrear if i could have survived would have been a, a fun pet choice for this so that my Kark does, you know, 700k per hit. <laughs> All hail Lord, Lord Kark Thudu. What am I going to call this team? I don't know. I don't know. I'm a big fan of this team. 
I think this is going to be my default attacking lineup from now on. My default attacking lineup. I'm going to start with this team. I'll drop Nebula or Iris depending on, you know, specific needs. But this is it. I don't run into any of the issues that I had before. Iris cleans out those big tough Marthas and those big tough uh, uh, um, Galahad and Astaroths. So you probably wouldn't work in this in this instance. Probably would not work here. But I would probably want to use Jorgen here. I probably want to use Jorgen in this lineup instead to counter this line. Not even using a counter to the enemy Yasmin. Wow. Maybe I can't uh maybe I can't quite kill an Astaroth. Oh I did, okay. Got a little close there. <laughs> So how this works is you be a Facebook and web specific player. You leave comments on my Facebook and web specific videos. I choose a commenter at random from the unique comments. There's 113 unique comments here. Uh, congratulations. Oh goodness. I cannot pronounce this name. It says, hi, thanks. Uh, not sure how to pronounce your name. Please get a hold of me on Discord. We will get you your prize. But on screen now, if you're interested in learning how to handle a Dante or a twins lineup, I got a couple of cool videos for you to check out. Please leave a like on the way out if you have not already if you found this video helpful then you might as well i love you all good luck in dominion